Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a brand new look at an old workhorse. Season 5 has significantly changed the MCW, and there's a configuration available that may make it the best SMG in the game. So let's have a quick look at it. I call this my double jack build because I'm using the Jack Raven and the Jack Cutthroat. First, let's look at the Jack Raven kit. You can see the green, you can see the red. It, it, recoil is significantly impacted. Range is significantly impacted. But headshot damage goes up, as does lower torso damage, and rate of fire is significantly higher at 800 rounds per second. The accuracy is pinpoint when it comes to hip fire, hip fire spread max, and the tactical stance spread. And sprint to fire speed, now these are composite numbers, a mere 105 milliseconds. We're talking pistol sprint to fire speeds, and the aim down sight speed, 221 milliseconds on this composite build here. Movement speed and sprint speed are also increased slightly. So let's have a look at the rest of the attachments. The jack cutthroat and it did a lot for the flinch resistance. The ADS movement speed 3.9 meters per second. That's bouncing off the walls like a super ball in an empty warehouse. The recoil is somewhat helped and flinch resistance. The Kumuro Silent Shot Integral Suppressor that keeps you off the map, but it does a lot of damage to your range. But guess what? With the rate of fire, with the increased mobility, the increased handling, this is a in-your-face kind of weapon. Now here's the secret ingredient, the paracord grip. You can get that from the armory in season five. It's all green, no red. Helps slightly with the kick, but that's all visual anyway. The horizontal recoil though, it brings it back down to 12.53 degrees per second. Increasing on the movement speed and an ADS speed, but look at the sprint to fire speed. A full 24% faster with this paracord grip. Now why why isn't everybody using it? I don't know. Maybe they'll start. And the RB Rapid Strike Grip. Now, there are two attachments called grips. The paracord was under barrel. This is the classic grip. And it also helps with sprint to fire by 33%, making this an in-your-face weapon. It does significant damage, according to the stats, and recoil. But let's have a look at the recoil. First, hip fire, no control. And you can see that it barely goes up and moves off a bit to the right of target. You can see where the dot is. Now we'll put it back over the target and test the recoil with no control. It goes straight up for most of the 30 round magazine and then veers off slightly to the right. Now let's test controlling the recoil. You can see that it just shoots straight as an arrow. All right, back to the numbers. With this amazing SMG like assault rifle, I went ahead and worked up some extra numbers for us here. So it shows the fire rate is 12% better. Green is good, red is bad, highlighted green is good, highlighted red is bad, and if I put it in a box, it's amazing. 86 rounds per minute more out of this weapon, which is 12% higher, but the velocity is a lot lower, which shows you that the range is not going to be as long, making this more like an SMG than it is an AR and a very effective SMG. The headshot damage goes up 17%. The headshot damage per second, and I always calculate that because people don't always get every round into the enemy. So it takes about two and a half seconds to fire the entire 30 round magazine. So I'm interested in how much damage I can do in that one second. And it's 31% greater than the bare bones MCW. The ranges you see go down fairly significantly, but on the maps I play on, and like I always say, every configuration is situational play style what the enemy is doing what their play style is so for short range maps or medium range maps it doesn't matter that you lose some of that distance because 15.8 meters almost 16 meters is still good when you look at the times to kill now the number of shots it takes for a headshot upper torso lower torso upper legs etc has not changed but the times to kill if you get every round into a certain part of the body have changed by 11% across the board. It's a better time to kill. We've already gone over the gun kick and horizontal recoil, but the vertical recoil actually improved with this configuration. 
as did the hip fire and tax stance significantly improve, meaning that this is more like an SMG than it is an assault rifle. The ADS movement speed is 34% better at 3.9 meters per second versus 2.9, and the sprint to fire went down 147 milliseconds, cut more than half from the bare bones version, and flinch resistance is slightly worse. Let's take this reimagined MCW as if you could do something new with something so old and tried onto the field of honor. See what it did for grandpa. See what it did to grandpa's enemies. Let's go. Free for all on shoot house. It's going to be a good test because this is a medium and short map. You can also get long shots on it. Boy, I'm telling you this setup deletes 800 rounds per minute. Just ask that guy. Did that delete them? Yes. Did you feel deleted? Yes. Look how serious Grandpa looks there. I haven't looked that serious since my buddy ate the last chicken wing in the bucket. Okay. All good things come to an end. But you can see that this MCW is a new weapon in this configuration. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what happened there. Oh, that was the mosquito. I don't show you all everything because some of the stuff Grandpa does is boring. Like that, for example. All right, we're going to run back on the revenge spawn and see if there's anybody to gack. A little bit of medium engagement, and there's no recoil. That's not controllable. Of course, when you're changing changing your magazine out you're pretty vulnerable and that might lead to a 40 oh hello good morning starshine the earth says hello there's green man what was that green leafy man there's the strafe speed grandpa's opened a little lead this this gun in this configuration i'm gonna lie to you not this time anyway Makes you feel invulnerable. Look at there. Jump down, turn around, and gack a mo. Grandpa's serving chips with a gack a mole. That was a lucky double kill, to be honest. Got a guy with a shiny head, a chrome dome there. He needs to He needs to take it down a few levels. Oh. That guy's tweaking. But there's a double kill with <laughs> with a mosquito and somebody stepped on a prox mine. That's the reason you put them out. Now, somebody said, oh, you got to go the other way when you put out a proximity mine. Never. Never. We are advancing. We are never retreating. Plus, if somebody's following you, they step on it every time. You know how I know that? Because I step on them every time when there's a good prox man out there. Green leafy man. He was after grandpa. It's not very friendly. Whoa. -ho. This weapon's fast. Grandpa's slow, but the weapon's fast. It's carrying grandpa along. Another double kill. You like to see those in free-for-all. There's a little strafe action. See, that's why time to kill is kind of an interesting topic. And again, I'm reloading. But it's not the, the only reason you choose a weapon. Because a lot of your shots are fired for effect. And Grandpa gets sniped again. Oh, just kept it up. Yeah, I walked into the bullet stream. Very nice of him. That's not very nice laying down like a wombat or uh, a muppet. I was in Australia so long I used the term wombat. Be active. Did some business with the Royal Australian Air Force. Plus, uh, I was an executive in a medical company there. All right, Grandpa's got to reload. He's got four to go. If he loses this one, he's uninstalling. Three left. 
this weapon, you feel invincible with it. This configuration, you feel invincible. You move fast, you stray fast. The recoil is almost straight up. It is for the first few bullets, so it might as well be. You can slide and kill green leafy people. Where else can you do that? You're not going to do that playing Sudoku. Or Sudoku, however you say it. All right, I got to pick up somebody else's weapon for the final kill. So it is a Snickers win, but not with the right weapon. Grandpa's giving the peace sign there. There, I pick up uh, DG58. Looks like he was shooting at somebody else. All right, there's one under the board. That was my first. Actually, I configured it. And I hit play. That was the first time I have used that weapon in that configuration. Now this one's going to be a little different because it's going to be tight. And Grandpa's going to lose from some guy with a duck face. I tell you, you wear a duck head. If you don't win the game, people are going to wonder about you. Straight up. Sprint to fire speed is outstanding. Ooh. There's the duck head again. He's actually Elvis. Elvis has a duck head. The king. Then comes slide canceling in there. Where is he? Up close, as good as any SMG I can carry. And if you're worried about the recoil, it doesn't apply when you're beak to beak with somebody, especially if it's a duck's beak. Put out the proximity mines, move forward, kill two that were following me. There's Amazonian warrior woman. And quick quad kill, and that was a strafe through the crack there in the doorway. Grandpa's tweaking here. There we go. And the guy turns his back on me. Give him a few love taps with the Renetti. Back to the MCW. This this gun feels unbeatable. Oh, I love these things. These cluster mines. Oh, maybe Grandpa cannot buy the farm putting it out. Nope. Always does. With a RPG? Brings an RPG on this map. Oh, there's Duckhead. No longer Elvis. Somebody is annoying. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Yeah, 40 rounds might work for you. Grandpa's running from battle and gets shot in the back. Sorry, Grandma Newbie, but your husband was shot in the back while running from battle. You can take some chances here. Try to close. There's Duckhead. What was that? We got to watch that one again. What? He got hip shotted, but guess what? He's Duckhead. There's Duckhead again. It stepped on my mind. We got the obligatory knife for there's Duckhead. Old Donald Duck there. There he is again. What? Okay, MCPR. And I get hip shotted again. And he stepped on the on the mine again. Now we have two knifers. And steps on a mine. Whoa. And got us both. I'm glad. Obligatory knifer deserved it. Or second obligatory. Non-obligatory knifer. There's Duckhead. Oh, I wish he would have been the last kill. And there's somebody. Scat oh, knifer. Obligatory knifer's last kill. So another Snickers win. I tell you, the, the gun feels like you're invincible with it. I mean, in a skilled player's hands, they'd do a lot better than I did. That's for sure. Please uh, let me know what you think about the config, and if you try it out, let us all know how you did. Like and subscribe would be appreciated. Cheers and peace to you.